lot of us want to run windows in our mac and in this video i'm going to exactly show you how you can run the latest version of windows 11 on your mac and that too absolutely free with vm fusion pro now one may ask why particularly this software when there is another software known as parallel is already available well i would say when we talk about the performance both software perform at same level i mean i have tried parallels which is very famous and then vm fusion pro i didn't found any difference in terms of performance and then why i need to pay when i can get this capability for free so let's see step by step how we can download and install vmware fusion as well as microsoft windows 11 in macintosh okay so step number one here is to download vm fusion pro which is now not that easy as it was so if you type here vmware fusion now we will basically will forward to this website and then again i'm gonna also provide you the direct link of this page in the description of this video now let me click here on download now now this will take you to the broadcom website and if you are thinking of oh, why it is taking us to the broadcom website this is because a vmware is now being bought by broadcom so here what we need to do is we first of all require to sign up okay so this is i would say is the most difficult step in this whole process which is registering yourself so let's go here on the top and then click on register now here you can type your email address so i'm gonna put my email address and then i'm gonna type here this capture and let's click next and now here i need to verify my email address so let me quickly do that after registering yourself all you need to do is you need to sign in so let me quickly sign in with my account after signing in uh, simply again we can go back to the same page and now again i'm going to click on download now now what this will do is this will take us to my downloads in broadcom now here we need to click on this free software download available here and now look for fusion and there we go so let's click on it now i'm gonna download the latest version of it which is 13.6.4 so let's click on that and now here i need to agree to terms and condition and now let's click here on download now here probably i need to enter my city name and my zip code And there we go we have successfully downloaded it now let me click here on open and let's open this vmware now here we need to click on center option which is to install and now here we need to click on open and need to provide our password And there we go we have successfully installed it now i can close this now let's talk about how we can download and install windows 11 in vmware fusion so for that you need to open vmware fusion and now you need to go here in file new and then you have option to get windows directly from microsoft so just select this option and click on continue now again click on continue and then from here you can choose which windows edition you would like to go with and then here we have got these two options either we can go for enterprise or we can choose professional similarly with language as well now let's click here on download windows now this will automatically download windows for you such that you do not require to do anything which is really awesome guys
now after downloading let's click here on continue and now let's click here on UEFI now here you can create a password so I'm gonna create a password here now here you can choose the encryption and then um, here you need to click on create new disk now here we can customize our setup based on our need by clicking on customize setting and then um, here for example I would like to increase number of processor count or want to increase the amount of RAM we can do that and then after let's click on start and there we go so now here we can see the process of windows installation has begun now here you can select your language and time and currency format so here let me select now after let's click on next and then again click on next here i'm gonna install windows 11 and then i'm gonna say i agree everything will be deleted and then here uh, if you have product key you can enter your product key if you're going to activate it digitally so you can select on this option which is i don't have product key now from here you can choose the version that you'd like to install then click on next and then here you need to accept terms and condition and now here i'm going to install it on this virtual disk and now let's click on install now after a few minutes here we can see we have almost installed it now we need to configure it again so from here you can select your country or region and then the keyboard type then if you want to add second layout you can do that but i'm gonna skip it now here you need to name your device so i'm gonna name my device here now based on your requirement you can choose it either for personal use or for work or school i'm going to use it for personal use so i'm going to choose personal again windows is checking for more updates and now seems there are certain updates that windows is downloading from internet so again we need to wait for a while and finally here we can see windows have successfully downloaded the update now we need to click on sign in now use your microsoft account here if in case you don't have you can also click on create one and then here you need to enter your email address and that's how you can create since i do already have so probably i'm gonna go and i will do sign in And seems like I am facing some issue here so we need to press shift key Fn and then F10 this will bring the Windows terminal and then here we need to type the following which is n c p a dot cpl and click on disable after that we can close this and now we need to type another command which is o o b e backwards less and then by pass n r o then hit enter now again it will reboot and then this time we need to again go through the same steps and now here we have option of selecting i don't have internet 
now here you can set up your Mac so I'm gonna say Windows Mac let's click next and here we can create our password click on next again confirm password next now we need to fill up this questionnaire then click on next now here it is up to you and finally here we can see we have successfully installed windows inside our macintosh now we need to do some more settings so that you know this windows look and perform really well and one such setting is installation of vmware tools for that we need to go to here virtual machine and then need to click on install vmware tools now click on run click on yes and now simply complete this wizard and there we go now we need to reboot once more and finally here we can see it looks like i am running native window so that's how guys we saw how we can install microsoft windows utilizing vmware fusion for free and here you're going to get experience almost exactly same as with the other paid software now again uh, i'm gonna turn back my network on by going to network setting advanced setting and then here i'm going to enable this ethernet so as soon as i enable ethernet here i can also see i am also able to access internet I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If so then please make sure you subscribe to The Mac Essential where our aim is to elevate your Mac OS experience. And I will see you soon in one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.